Good times. So. Great, it's about time that we've settled this debate once and for all. I feel like we've known that there's been some turmoil in the uh in the in the the oat fields. The I just hate that it's come to this, that we've reached this point in history where we have to have petty debates like this, where instead of being able to celebrate everything, we have to rank it on some sort of value system. No, you know? I no 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 no. I I feel like there's a clear delineation between something that's worth having around and something that mm -hmm. should just be all of it just thrown in the trash. You know what I'm saying? And I think it's time I mean, that we I settle what it is. I think that's true. I just feel like, you know, if we're going to have to draw that line in the sand and really define it, it's just, you know, it's just brutal to the losers in this competition. We all know that they're low tier. I feel like having to put a label on it is just rough for them. But I understand nature, duty calls. Uh, we got we to gotta make sure that the people know what stuff is worth having, even though it seems pretty obvious to me. But No, this is know, just we, natural it, selection in motion. We are the natural choice to make a selection about which survive. Naturally. Uh, so I feel like we could, we should, let's, let's start. Okay, let's start with like, there's not going to be any, any, I don't think, I don't know how much blood there's going to be on this battlefield between us two. Uh, I, yeah, I don't know how, how hard these fights are going to be, but also I can see there being a couple surprises in the mix. Somewhere. Yeah, uh, but let me, let me uh, first, let, let's approach what I'm going to call, uh, this will be the uh, demilitarized zone where we both agree. This mm -hmm. is just, don't even care about it. Cornflakes, D. No, get, yeah, get that, get okay, that good. out of here. <laughs> Unless we're like, <laughs> like covering it in sugar or something. Get it away from me. Yeah, Art you know what me, they call that? I never knew. When they you. cover it in sugar? Yeah, exactly. They call, they those call frosted, frosted flakes. flakes. Which and are, I'd say that I'd say that's a B. For you think me, it's a B? Personally? I think they could they're like higher end of B. Yes, I, would go. I was gonna I like I I I was scared to give it A because it seems too simple. It is simple, but, but I think that uh simplicity is good. Also they have the funny right little the mascot. Point. You know how much if you want to talk about the most fuckable mascot in serial oh. history, is Tony that worth the Tiger's anything? Tiger's got a storied history of, <laughs> uh, of people really going out of their way for that guy. <sighs> and, uh, you know, I feel like that definitely has to play a little bit of a part in its ranking. Yeah. But I'm comfortable keeping it B for now, and maybe we move it up as we realize the competition might not be as stiff. Okay, let's um also, for uh, for the viewers at home playing along, I think order matters. So, like, oh, in, in B, this is the, the front None of, of this B unordered in the tier garbage. No, I hate like, that shit. You gotta make your decisions. I wanna take a look at this tier list and understand that going left from right, we are losing quality. Nah, put some put some put some put some back into it. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Uh, back up your claims. Next one, I'm gonna say rice checks. D. Yeah, that's what mm -mm. it's like it's fine. I think okay, if we're gonna speaking of ordering, yeah. It's maybe better than cornflakes. Because I think with some sugar it's got on at top, least an it's interesting. It's it's also got like more of an interesting texture than a cornflakes would. Like, yeah. even if I don't think the taste is delish, I feel like, you know, to a degree, my mouth is like, oh, what's this with rice checks? Whereas cornflakes, it's like, oh. Okay, so at this? least some novelty is like. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Like it it, it gets an edge because cornflakes is like the boring of the boring. Like the it most is boring. the dullest it's like eating of cardboard. The yes, like you might as well at that point. Really, uh, honestly, I, probably be better for you. I've been leading the charge. What anything that you jumps out to you that you're just like immediately okay, get this well, up, get this up I, here. I feel like this could be a fight starter here because oh, I because no. I okay. I'm, I'm I feel like I like this cereal more than people I know. Uh, I think honeycomb needs to go in A. Oh, I. You want to? Do you want my opinion? Sure. Hey, look. I do we, I'm do always we have here peace? to. Uh, we absolutely have peace with yes. that. Yes. Like okay, I was good. <laughs> I was worried that with A, you were going to be like honeycomb and no. A. It's a C. No. Cereal. Honeycomb is one of the Honeycomb feels like like another boring cereal in my mind, like when I look at it and like even when I eat it, I'm kind of like this just feels like a basic cereal, but it does it all right. It's like I feel like everything, it is the perfect good. balance of just about everything. And those combs are so big. I love it. I'm a big fan of good, big cereal. Good flavor, not bad texture. So like the thing that you do too, you do this thing where you mm -hmm. don't put, so like we should establish this too for the judges at home. 
Yeah, uh, this is worth uh, considering because it might sway my opinion on a couple Yeah, because Grant's a psycho. He doesn't eat, you know, the whole thing with drinking your cereal milk. Grant just says, fuck the whole thing. I'm just going to eat it with my own hands. See, growing up, I took cereal as like, I am I am a cereal apologist and that I don't believe we should limit it to the breakfast time. Uh, no, I agree with you. And as such, I view it as like a snacking substance. And when you're snacking, I feel like you want something you can have on the go and you don't have to worry about too many liquids. Sure. So, uh, so I was just a dry cereal boy. That's now, fine. I've had cereal and milk, and it is fine. I'm not anti it, <laughs> it's but it is okay, just not my. It is just not my typical mode of consumption. No, like it's I, less. I'm, it's less. I'm against it, and more. It's not my tradition. Yeah, not no, my it, culture. I, I understand. It's like you know, trail mix. Plenty of things have have yeah. paved the way to uh, to milkless cereal. I feel you on that one. Honey one of my favorite particular. snacks is puppy chow, and it's basically just bad oh, yeah. cereal covered in sugar and peanut butter. Yeah, it's, so, it's just rice checks covered in yeah. all that shit. <laughs> but yeah, the uh, the thing with honeycomb, I think honeycomb serves so well both as a snack and as a milkified as a uh, milk cereal, cereal As a milked soup. breakfast. Yeah, I, I love it both ways. Uh, honeycomb is, is my favorite in, the, in that sense. Well... We'll we'll see like through through the rest of these, but like I think as a snacky right, one, that cool. the way you didn't eat realize it, honey I was the best. kicking off with a with a front runner. Yeah. Uh, uh, ooh, this one's a, a childhood uh, uh, bloodbath potentially. Cocoa <laughs> puffs. Cocoa puffs. Now, see, I've always thought cocoa puffs were kind of mid. I'd ooh, put them C, yes, we personally. agree. We agree. I'm just like C tier, end of D. I like Frosted Flakes more than cocoa puffs. <laughs> Oh, for sure. I like. Frosted I hate way they... better than cocoa. Puffs. Oh, okay. I'm gonna put so C for cocoa yeah. puffs. As far as yes, I'm concerned. Yes, yeah. I'm I'm <laughs> not that cuckoo for cocoa. Puffs. <laughs> okay, good. I'm <laughs> moderately raised. <laughs> I would. Yeah. Puffs. If uh, if the world uh, ended and I was stuck in a hotel and all I had was hotel like, cocoa puffs, I would live, but I wouldn't be happy. Head to head, like Reese's puffs to cocoa puffs. Reese's puffs, like. I'm going to say an A tier. Easily. No like question. Cocoa, Cocoa Puffs is like, if you've got Cocoa Puffs, I am sitting there going like, man, who did who skimped out on the Reese's Puffs? Absolutely. Here? No, 100%. And I feel like, like Cocoa Puffs, like Reese's Puffs feel, I don't know if they're exactly the same, but Reese's Puffs feel more puffy and airy than no, Cocoa yeah. Puffs are like dense marbles that are hard to bite into. I feel like Reese's Puffs is like, what if we introduced a bit of quality to the Cocoa Puffs yeah. sort of formula? And then also like, the occasion, like the thing I liked about Reese's Puffs, is I feel like some of them have like an extra dusting on them. Like I don't know what. But no, like, no, they do. They do. There's like certain, like certain kernels are a slightly different, like shade of brown or whatever, and yes. they come in with like a peanut butter dust on them. That's like amazing. And like I would just buy that to put on ice cream or something. Yeah, for sure. It makes it. May, ooh, I didn't even think about the ice cream topping angle that might uh, come into play here with some of these. Oh, there are there's some, a couple of these. Yeah, that I'm like. There's a couple of these that I would never, I wouldn't be caught dead with them in a cereal bowl, but I would love them in an ice cream bowl. Yeah, yeah. Uh, on a similar uh, similar bend to uh, Orbular cereal, Kix, <laughs> I'm going to say Ooh. is like same tier as rice checks. Yeah, I was uh, like, when I saw you going towards C, I was like, if we're putting kicks in C, no, I'm voting no, 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 for no, the no. bottom of C. Yeah, I, I think I like rice but checks more than kicks. upper end of D. Ooh, okay. I think I would, I would put kicks over rice checks, but I'm not gonna, I, not enough to fight about it. If, uh, let if me, how you're feeling. Let me appeal to your emotions. Okay, I'm listening. Puppy chow, rice check. Shit, all right, yeah, no, keep that kicks down. <laughs> Put that put that kick at the bottom of my boot, down at the bottom of D. My cousin loved kicks, and I never understood it. And so my what? when we would stay with my grandparents, That's like being so like, a, uh, enthralled by rice. I like, like listen. Thing. I get it. I love rice, but let me tell you, white rice. I'm I'm all about it. Yeah. But like, so I, I guess Red I have a partic I have particular. I have damage with this, where uh, I would arm. stay with my grandparents, and they would always stock up on all the cereals that we liked. Uh, I tore through cereal things. more than uh, my my cousin would, and so there was always kicks left over because my cousin wouldn't eat the kicks. But he <laughs> loved the kicks when he had it, and I'm just sitting over here like, God, so wait, there's no he, good cereal he in the fucking house. Loved kicks, but he never ate it. I just ate more cereal so than he did, and so over? my grandparents oh. were like, "Well, you know, uh, your cousin All we likes got left kicks. Is Twelve boxes of kicks. Yeah, because we're not uh, going out for cereal. Exactly. They're like, eat some of the kicks. And I'm like, no, I don't want any fucking kicks. I ate through all of my. <laughs> you can't make me. 
Yeah, you, yeah. What is Cinnamon you Toast Crunch? Your Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Ooh. S tier. S tier. I will. You better have a damn at, good argument for I'm, not put this in S tier. I'm looking at this list just to see if there's anything I would say competes with it so much that I'd be like, nah, I feel like it's going to drop to A. But Cinnamon Toast Crunch is one of those where it's like, I recognize its quality for sure. I think it's great. I just don't eat it a ton. So it's like not in my lexicon, I guess, uh, ready to go. But like, man. S S tier seems like the right spot for it. It does. It it's got that delicious, that sugary cinnamon taste you can see. It's uh, everything about it cinnamon toast crunch is my favorite. I love it. Just like I love churros. I love just fucking okay. cinnamon sugar donuts, and it's, it's literally just that. It's literally just fucking donuts on I'm, fun little Graham squares. I'm realizing it's not on this list now that I'm looking at it, but I always thought of cinnamon toast crunch as like decadent golden Grahams. Like it's like you can get golden Grahams. Or you could like get the like Golden Grams Plus, aka Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Yeah, i i oh shit. Yeah, I was looking at I was trying to like vet this list before jumping into this one, but yeah, Golden Grams is missing. Uh, for the I would record, say I'd put gold, I'd put Golden Grams as high B for me. Yeah, I think Golden Grams is less than Reese's Puffs, but it's still pretty good. I think they're yeah. like up there with Frosted Flakes. I my personal appeal to Cinnamon Toast Crunch, it's it's been my favorite cereal forever. I think it deserves to be an S tier with honeycomb. Uh, no, for sure. It's it's super duper good. We you, it's just like that flavor profile is so good on anything. It's the reason <laughs> it, I don't. It hits every box. It's the it reason it all. I don't uh, drink alcohol anymore because when they showed me a drink that was cinnamon toast crunch is when I realized, oh no, I have a problem because this is alcoholic <laughs> and it tastes like cinnamon toast and crunch. And it's cinnamon toast oh, crunch. Oh fuck! This uh, is yeah. a second feel. <laughs> the taste I can oh can't see anything anymore. Uh, it tastes like a bro yeah, uh, I love Cinnamon Toast Crunch. If you make cinnamon sugar anything, uh, I'll eat whatever it is. It could be a radioactive uh, clump of plutonium. We'll I'll find suck a way. Down. Uh, but yeah, uh, S tier Cinnamon Toast Crunch for me, easily. Uh, okay. What about uh, you? I'm going to make uh, a, a quick hard call here, and this might be because of my non-milk cerealing ways. Ooh, okay. Both versions of Pebbles, both fruity and cocoa. Oh no! Put that shit in D. You it's not are... good. No, no way. It's just no it's way. just freaking no way. grains of rice no with a little way. bit of flavor. This thrown guy, up. this guy, I'm. I don't it know what nothing. I'm gonna do with this guy. I don't it know what I'm supposed nothing. to do with this guy. It's little. I've it's lived shards. with this You might as well be eating flavored person. paper. No, this shit is so good. Okay, well hold on. All right, here's. I would do this. Any day of the week, mm, but let me mm. let hang on. Like uh, this is that's where I would put it. Okay, I'm not saying this is where it ends up because let's let's talk through this. Okay. Okay. Known problem with the pebbles. After five minutes in milk, it's disgusting. It's gone. <laughs> it's, it's gone. gone. And, I know. There's nothing to I know. it. It no, has no, 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 no. no substance. No, 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 no. Okay. Just like the cherry blossoms that are that <laughs> bloom for uh because but two is... weeks a year. You have yeah. a scant. A, a, a brief minutes of your life you to don't appreciate understand. it's how it's lack good. is its beauty exactly the fleeting moment that of which fruity pebbles and cocoa pebbles approaches the top of the bell curve of quality it's like seeing a a golden sunrise it only lasts <laughs> it is grant grant this is what life is made of okay it's made of these fleeting <laughs> moments cocoa pebbles. of perfect pebular deliciousness and you only have it for but a second and then you remember shit I shouldn't have poured like two whole cups oh, of no. pebbles into this I just bowl. completely <laughs> turned this bowl into rainbow concrete because the milk and little shards of cereal have congealed into a solid and, and if you do not uh, if you don't clean the whole thing and you don't immediately put it in your dish, uh, <laughs> into your start kitchen with soaking water. That bowl. Yeah, you gotta fucking get a fucking knife to cut the pebbles off because they <laughs> have carved. formed into the fucking bowl. Uh, I would okay. Uh, well, mm, you know what? I'm not gonna back this up. I'm, I wouldn't eat a bowl of uh, Flintstones vitamins over a bowl <laughs> of cocoa pebbles, but I would take like a handful of uh, you know. Flintstones vitamins versus a handful of fruity pebbles or cocoa That's not pebbles. saying much. Those vitamins rock. I eat that shit like no, candy. Yeah, I mean, they're great, but I'm saying if a medicine is out <laughs> is outrunning your cereal in my mind, no, it's probably I... a bad call. Okay, well, you know what? Look, can we meet halfway? Are they better than Cocoa Puffs? <sighs> I don't think so. I would take a cup of 
See, that's the thing. It's like I'm thinking of everything as like I'm walking around with this with a cup in my hand and just kind of digging my hand in. That's because like, you're a psycho. Like that's because you're insane. And I'm like, there's no way I do that without pebbles. <sighs> okay, well, here. Oh. But I, I'm willing to respect the idea that if I was to suspend it in a fluid of some kind <laughs> and, you know, gave it some sort of unifying uh, medium with which to uh, inhabit, perhaps okay. it would outrank a Cocoa Pebbles. All right. Speaking or, of milk-based uh, medium with which could contain the pebbles, have you had it as a topping? So I've had... I had cocoa crispies. We got them. We got them. As a we topping, got him, we got uh -huh. and I feel like, and I feel like that's on the same line. Yeah, uh, and, and it was great. That and is you loved amazing. It. Exactly. It was great. Right. We found that ice cream place. I want to say in L.A., and I went there like three times because that was a topping they had, and I was like, "This is amazing." I haven't, th I've never found a place that put cereal and ice cream. What an idea! Yeah, fruity pebbles and cocoa pebbles are amazing toppings because I of can their properties. Completely see that. Okay. And I am, Does I'm that willing beat to cocoa puffs. <laughs> You know what? The versatility, perhaps, uh, is worth a I'm mention. I'm going to say that I, I will settle for no less than this. Let me look at this list real quick. I'll let this stand for now. Listen, okay? I'll, I'll, but I'll we may revisit it in the I'll future. I'll concede something As if this is going to be when, what we need. Our, our arms uh, Okay, agreement. all right. Here's, here's my conceit. Only one of them gets to go in B tier. Which one are you keeping? Fruity Pebbles. Okay, then put Coco in. You can you can put Cocoa Pebbles above the puffs. Okay. But I want it down in C. Yeah, All Fruity right. Pebbles way better than Cocoa Pebbles, easily. That said, uh, considering commercials, that would almost let me rocket it up to B, just because Bonnie, my pebbles. Bonnie, is, my is is extreme man, extremely evergreen. good commercials. Flintstones property. Are you telling me you hate family values like the Flintstones? I do love dinosaurs. <laughs> it's hard to hate on the Flintstones <laughs> with my love of dinosaurs the way I have. Well, we we can revisit it when we when we yeah, fi we'll come back finish it up. Uh, okay. All right. I'm not where I wanted, but uh, I'll live. I'll live. Um, <laughs> we can, we'll let it be there for now. Uh, you, you pick the pebbles, right? Yes. Let's, yeah. um, I, I, I started war on pebble. Okay. Time. This one is gonna, I blasted those motherfuckers back <laughs> in the stone age is what I did. If you, I'm just thinking we're both like both secretly like geriatric old people in, no, in yeah. spirit. We, we, we like, Grant for the elderly. I love Honey Nut Cheerios. Honey Nut Cheerios is great. Now, Holy I, shit. Okay, I've good. become like somewhat like I'm not gonna say a recent convert. Like I enjoyed it in my youth. I but, loved them uh, forever. I I would say Kid Me would have put Honey Nut Cheerios in like C tier, like higher C tier. Like, yeah. It's like it's a it's a cereal I will eat and not complain about, but mm -hmm. like it is not one I'd put on a shopping list. Yeah. Um, but uh, I feel like in recent years I have really come around on the Honey Nut Cheerios. What with its big old uh you like hey pack full of sugar but maybe decent for your cholesterol <laughs> so you know it's like one of those things where i'm like oh you know, well, uh, i'll splurge a I little get that myself bee. some honey nut cheerios yeah, yeah that <sighs> bee's never t done me wrong uh and so yeah i i would say it's at least i i was gonna say at least high b tier but yeah i'm cool with it going i think i think it's sure. it should definitely be an a tier I, think I definitely think it hangs. It's um, it's one of the all stars. I think if you were to have a cereal hall of fame, I think you would struggle to think of one more prevalent and good. It's like you know, it's it's popular and famous, but it's I think it's also solid. good. Yeah, it's really good. It's uh, it's not doing anything fancy, but it does everything pretty good. Like was, I don't know if I want to Google this. Was there a B movie slash Cheerios like cross marketing thing at all? Like. With with their with Jerry Seinfeld was B there. And honey, well, hold and honey on. Nut Cheerio B B movie, Honey Nut Cheerios. No, mm. I'm not seeing one. Okay, all right. I don't. I, don't I was think just curious so. if <gasps> what? <laughs> Wait a minute. What is this? I don't do mornings. Good. Okay, all right. Ooh, is that's. That that's What's uh, his face? that's Fry. Yeah. That's, um, Billy West. Oh my God! How could you? Oh my God! You're killing him. Did they make honey nut Cheerios monster. waffle? Is waffle crisp on this list? Oh, you know what? Now I want some fucking honey nut Cheerios. <laughs> now I want to watch Garfield. Okay. 
Yeah, I think... Now I want some, now I want some lasagna. God, I haven't even considered what the, the commercials playing into some of this. Dude, shit. <laughs> Crazy, this video's going to be like an hour. If we look, no, that's okay. We'll, we'll, we, can, we can trim it down. It's fine. We don't have to talk about every commercial. Okay. We can just have... We can make two separate videos. One with the tier list and one where we just watch commercials. Ooh, I like it. Follow-up. Watching yeah. serial commercials. Yeah. Seeing uh, if it adjusts our ranking. Yeah, yeah. Um... Okay. Or we rank the commercials individually and see how it compares to this list. I'm looking at this photo that they picked for the Cheerios. Yeah, they couldn't even cut it Hang off. Hang right. on. What is, what is that? There's like... Is it like it's against like, the wall? It's like wall? on a white brick wall. <laughs> we, could, we couldn't get a white screen behind this, so we put it yeah. against our, like, school, our cafeteria's back wall. Okay. Well, uh... I, I did put, already pick it up, so... Uh, Cheerios. Cheerios. Speaking of, I, I feel like the same. I feel shit. like they could sneak. I feel like they could sneak into the top of D. Something about I don't yeah. know. Maybe it's just I don't know if it's my love of Honey Nut Cheerios, but something about regular ass Cheerios is like a cereal I recognize as boring, but would eat in a pinch. Like I think if it's I like, like rice checks more than Cheerios, but I'll accept really? Cheerios on top of D. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I, I feel like I would I would reach for Cheerios before rice checks maybe. Yeah. Well, there's my two. I, 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 there's my, my Cheerios okay. rankings. Um, something that I feel like I've kind of waffled on the past few years, uh, Cookie Crisp. Mm. Now, I loved uh, Cookie Crisp growing up. Same. It, ask, ask Kid Me, it's an s rank cereal for sure. I think I would, um, I would float around there as a kid. But nowadays, like, I still really like it, but it's like, Maybe this is just the old me coming out, but it's like it's starting to feel too much. Like I am just eating candy now. And you like, are eating it's like, candy. It's like I just I kind of feel more guilty about it, even though it's like like Cinnamon Toast Crunch literally has like a whole layer of sugar cakes on top that I can witness. So it's probably not like it's any healthier. But something about Cookie Crisp really just feels like this. Something feels like I'm I'm cheating here, and it's like the guilt with it almost outweighs me liking its taste. But the second factor, uh, and again, maybe I could alleviate this if I was, uh, you know, a normal human who put milk on a cereal. Mm -hmm. That stuff rips up my mouth like crazy. No, like if I Sam. eat handfuls of that stuff, it's like I am feeling it on my gums the rest of the day. Absolutely, and not only that, but I feel like the everything you said and other facts. Uh, I feel like the cookies suck. Like, I, if I want to have cookies, <laughs> just not good cookies, I'm just gonna get like fucking small a, little cookies. Yeah. And like, if I yeah. want to have the experience, get yourself of this, some chips ahoy. Get some chips ahoy, crunch it up, and put it in milk. It's it'll be way better and basically <laughs> the same be. nutritional value. <laughs> <laughs> like, but it doesn't come with a fun box and the cookie crisp. Like that's oh man, commercials. Cookie Crisp has been through like an identity crisis four times, like over the course of my lifetime. Yeah. Uh, trying to figure out its mascot. And I mean, just the solo wolf, I'm kind of okay because he gets at least the Cookie Crisp howl. Yeah. But uh, I miss the dog and like robber and cop or whatever it was. I miss the robber too. I, uh, so what are you thinking? I think I like it more than Cocoa Puffs. I like it more than Cocoa Puffs for sure. Okay. Like, for, for me, it like still hangs out in a B tier. Okay. Uh, but it'd be like probably the lower end of B. I think I could I could live with this. Yes. That looks that look okay to you. Yeah. There there'll be some days where I'm like fiending for sugar, where I'll be like, "You dared to put this below A?" But uh, when level heads prevail, I definitely think Cookie Crisp is. Man, a, they're like puffy styrofoam, tier. though. Like I think the. I mean, you're kind of right. Like, like I, I made, if like, the I think it's better, really my I'd childhood agree. memory of the idea of eating cookies for breakfast yeah, being so, so it exciting. Is fun. Yeah, definitely very fun. But I, I just wish the cookies were actually good. I could just have actual real cookies now. Like when I was a kid. I didn't really get cookies too often, so it was like, oh, I get little cookies and I, yay! But like, oh, now I can just it's in my I just get cookies bowl. at Kroger for three dollars. I get a <laughs> box of cookies and they're amazing. Cookies is boring now. I can get whatever the fuck I want. Uh, um, my cookie speaking, standards are too high. Speaking of boring, just to throw one more up on the board. Sure. Uh, I think Frosted Cheerios. Right, is that what those are on the far left? Is that. The frosted uh, Cheerios, I can't. These say apple cinnamon Cheerios. Oh, also, why the fuck this is here and not frosted Cheerios? Yeah, because I, I feel think like frosted, frosted cheer Cheerios frosted are like Cheerios the other. Is way this is frosted Cheerios. So, okay, okay, we're gonna pretend this pretend is frosted, it's frosted Cheerios. Cheerios. Where would you put them? 
I was going to say Frosted Cheerios, I feel like, is at least top of C, if not like somewhere I in agree. B. Yeah, Frosted Cheerios it's like are boring. It feels like it doesn't really bring a lot to the table, but it's I, like, I don't know if it's just me being tricked by some level of Cheerio marketing, but it's sugar. Whatever they're frosting it with feels like better sugar frosting than a lot of other frosted cereals. No, I agree with you. I, th I think it's pretty good. It's not uh, I think too the sweet flake either. is a better distribution method for the for the frosting. Oh, yeah, I agree. So that's how it wins out in that war. But the like there was something about like this sound a little gross, but I kid me that. just liked putting putting a handful of frosted Cheerios in his mouth and just like not what, chewing on them, but on like them? sucking on them. Yeah, yeah, I did the same like, thing. <laughs> like they were like, a, I like filling my mouth with this sugar Yes, flavor. no, for sure. Uh, I, and I probably did that too. giving myself millions of cavities along. Definitely, uh, but it was worth it. I, I think I could I could live with them being a tail end of B. Okay, um, I'm cool with that. I think I like them more than Cookie Crisp, but it, uh, it's your call whether you think that's better or not. You know what? Let's put them above Cookie Crisp. Damn. Stick it, stick it to the kid me, and be like, Nah, your cookies ain't that, ain't that hot no more. Um, and you need this reminder. Speaking of getting old, Special K, the uh -oh. the oldest of old man cereal. Uh, trash. <laughs> the ancient cereal. Okay, good. When you were going up there, I was no, like, No, I just, uh -oh, I'm hovering in the fight. middle no, just to, no, to for hey, effect. Okay, yeah, I'm no, not like good. immediately putting it in the thing. Yeah, you're you're being a showman here while I'm just staring at the list and immediately making a judgment. Yeah. it's great. Uh, I'm the audience right now. Uh, Special K, I think, is probably better than cornflakes. What's different about it from cornflakes? I feel like in my head, I don't even know if I'd, I... Don't, I think you could put a bowl of both in front of me, and I don't know if I could pick it out of a lineup. There's a future video. Uh, I feel like Special K oh, no. has more definition to it than the cornflakes. <laughs> High def cornflakes. Yeah, it's HD corn... Where cornflakes is, like, all... Uh, I don't know. It's like Corflex the same. Corflex HD Remix, yeah. aka Special K. Yeah, Special K uh, uh, Blood Drop Distance um, is probably, <laughs> I think, pound for pound, like more packed with grain and stuff. It feels like it's more weedy, I feel like. They're than thicker flakes. Uh, than like corn flakes is obviously mostly corn stuff. I think Special K gets like wheat grain shit in there more. But um, I don't know. It might be hard to tell. Uh, I want to it imagine It throws a I little bit tell. of special in there. Yeah. It's special, Grant, but it's not special enough uh, to break anything back <laughs> yeah, right there. But, but it's especially boring. Uh, ooh, this is one that I feel like we could maybe view similarly. Okay. I think Apple Jacks have always been that weird, like, redheaded stepchild of just, like, I don't dislike it, but I'm never going out of my way for it. There's periods ooh, in my okay. life where I return to, like, you know what? I could go, go for a thing. Applejacks I could for go a for bit. some Apple Jacks for like a month, and then I, I get do. some Apple Jacks, and then I fall back out of it for like another seven years. I don't touch Apple Jacks, but then I come back to it. And I'm like, no, these are still pretty good. Uh, See, for me, Apple Jacks is like a like a like a. I don't want to say it's like a standby because I don't have it a ton, but it's one where it's like I feel like you're always in my back pocket, Apple Jacks. You're yeah. like, like, like for me, Apple Jacks is like a low end of A. I like think it's I like could a, agree with that. Like it's like it's good. Like it like I enjoy it. I don't know if I'm buying it all the time, but I'm never unhappy when it's like uh all we got in the cupboard is like apple jacks, I guess. I'll be like, oh shit, yeah, yeah give me a bowl yeah, of that. Uh, no, exactly. that's great. Yes. Yeah. If they're just like, oh well, I got some apple jacks, I'm like, choo shit, give me some apple jacks. Like yeah. I don't think I have bought a box of apple jacks in probably the last six or seven years. Yeah. But like I, I wouldn't turn it down. For sure. I, I like Apple Jacks, but it's not one I go out of my way for. But every time I have it, I'm just like, ooh, hell yeah. Like, I feel you. Good good stuff. Good stuff. Okay, cool. I figured we'd like, I don't know what it is about Apple Jacks, but I feel like everybody I talk to about it feels the same way, where they're like, no, they're good. I just don't go out of my way for them, but they're pretty good. <laughs> it's like the commercial. We're like, it doesn't taste like Apple. Why do you like it? It's <laughs> like, because it. Because it's all right. Yeah. <laughs> like, <and> that's the <laughs> answer. That's the marketing. I was like, why, why do people eat this shit? I don't know. They think it's fine. Ugh. Um. Okay, I'm looking at it. We got Captain Crunch. We got Cap. We got Peanut Butter Crunch, and we've got Crunch Berries. Ooh, do we need to talk about the Captain? The problem with I, the I, Captain? I, I feel like it's. It, I feel like it's time we bring up the, the good old Horatio Captain Crunch. Oh man, this is a. This is a. This is, can potentially be a bloody one. But I'm curious what you what you have to say. Let's start so with kidney, the Captain. Okay. Okay. All right. We'll start with. We'll start with regular Captain. I think regular ass Captain Crunch is good i like it i think i agree um i for me it hovers either top of b or low a somewhere in that range 
I think um, I might even I be like, willing to go lower and be. I think but. like here is where I'm feeling. I think, okay. And almost yeah, exclusively you know because of it's the meme. It's the whole thing. We all know it. It scratches up my fucking it does, gums, it does, man. It does beat up your teeth. It does beat uh, up your mouth. And a if bit I want, like, I feel like it tastes incredibly similar to Frosted Flakes, which doesn't fuck up my mouth. And so I would mm -hmm. rather have that. But I do I like. I feel the like it's got sometimes. like a bit of a, a honeyness to it that it does. Frosted There's Flakes doesn't else. have that I really like. Uh, but I wanted to bring that up because Crunch Berries, <gasps> I love the berries. But the Captain Crunch in Crunch Berries is shit. It is worse like, than the normal Captain like, Crunch, it's right? Way worse. Yeah, it's like, it like is the like, rejects from the line. Yes, for Captain Crunch, yeah, it's like the it's runoff. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's like here's the all of the terrible batches of Captain Crunch that like weren't in the freaking cereal oven or whatever long enough. Yes, and we're just gonna throw that in here with these berries. Uh, like, okay, we like we are discarding this Captain Crunch. But instead of just throwing it away and losing out on it, yeah. we're going to throw in basically these, like, in my opinion, like, basically better tricks balls. <laughs> and yes. Them, and put them in there and mix it up and be like, here, you're basically getting half a cereal. Let's, um, let's, uh, so with that acknowledged that berries worse than Captain Crunch, um, but let's pretend, okay, use our imaginations for a second because okay. it's not on here. This is oops all berries. Oops all berries. Where does that suddenly go? an A tier um, breakfast? Absolutely agree. Pretend like, this is oops all, all berries. All berries, A tier all the way. Easily. If you get the, like I okay, here's how insane I was. Before <laughs> before oops all berries existed. Oh, I know where this is going. My I would ask my mom to get Captain Crunch and Captain Crunch berries. I would take out the berries and put them in the Cap'n Crunch, <laughs> and it became a good cereal. Oh man, that's next level shit. What if we got a bowl uh, of- And then my mom got real upset that I did that. We should get Oops All like, Berries and Captain Crunch and, and mix yes, that shit yes, together. Yes, and mix it together. Suddenly have, way better. Like, and then, ooh, Shoot, I didn't think about it. That would have been a way easier way to do that in, in the future. Yeah, we should blind taste test. I'm gonna get Captain Crunch Berries and then the specially mixed version of individually mm. picked versions and see if you can yeah. tell the difference. Uh, yeah, I'm yeah, I'm curious if all oops all berries and ca crunch berries are different. Like is this like a cap and crunch to the crunch to the cap and crunch in crunch berry scenario yeah. where C cap and crunch berries actually has the lower end of both? <laughs> uh peanut butter crunch while while we're here with the captain. Kid How do you me feel about love peanut butter peanut crunch. Butter crunch. I Nowadays, loved it as a kid. I Nowadays, I don't know if I would even buy it. I I feel like I don't know. I, a switch flipped somewhere. I'm a, and I'm it was with just you. like a. It was just like a. I don't like it anymore. I'm tired of this like, shit. It's like like yeah. Like I feel like it's like like I feel like it's better than D. It's not a boring. No, bad it's not D. But I am with you. It's but, like it's like but around I'm like, here. It's like yeah. It's hovering in a like a not. Uh, not enviable spot in C. I think it's where it's just better than like cocoa it, puffs, but like barely. Yes. Yeah, I would I would eat it before cocoa puffs. Put these together, all of a sudden Reese's puffs is great. <laughs> but, That's it. Yeah, that is it, what happened. We just split up Reese's puffs exactly. into two inferior cereals. Yeah, you need to have them together. Uh, I I okay. I I, I wasn't sure how you would feel because I know you love yeah. peanut butter shit, but like I, well, I'm with me you. was bonkers about peanut butter crunch. Like that was like one of, probably my most gotten cereal, and maybe that's what happened. I just like overdid it, and now in my adult life, I'm just like ugh. I ate enough of that for literally a lifetime. I don't need any more. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm i with you there. Um, okay, I think we mostly agree with the Captain Crunch stuff. I was I was expecting yeah, it to I'm, be a little I, bloodier, yeah, but I, I, I think we Captain I thought Captain Crunch was going to be more of a fight here. And uh, again, asterisk on that Crunch Berries up there. It is oops all berries. Yeah, oops all berries on that one. Um, or maybe even the specially mixed combination of oops all berries, Captain de, Crunch de, yeah, together. Yeah. Well, it's, it's been a long time since I had that, but depending on how it goes... Um, I could see it. Okay, I think we mostly agree with the Captain Crunch stuff. I was I was expecting yeah, it to I'm, be a little I, bloodier, yeah, but I, 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 I think we Captain I think Crunch we agree. was going to be more of a fight here. And uh, again, asterisk on that Crunch Berries up there. It is oops all berries. Yeah, oops all berries on that one. Um, or maybe even the specially mixed combination of oops all berries, Captain de, de, Crunch de, yeah, together. Yeah, well, it's it's been a long time since I had that, but depending on how it goes, um, I could see it. Next one, uh, because we got a couple brands of this here. Uh, Rice Krispies. I okay. <sighs> eh? I never liked regular Rice Krispies. Regular oh, ass really? Rice Krispies. Oh, fuck this was, shit. Was, yeah, yeah. I, I, I was hate a boring this shit. cereal. I think mind. I was... like it even less than Rice Checks. Maybe even <sighs> less than Kicks. 
Um, I feel like I would put it. <laughs> no, I'd put it below kicks. I think in my mind. Cool. I think like, it's barely the, better than. Like again, pie. as someone who ate lots of cereal by hand, Rice Krispies not great for that method. Uh, and then Rice Krispies on top of it, I think are just boring even if you put them in milk. I, I so, agree. So like it's kind of that thing where it's like my methodology plus it being just not that good. Yeah, it's not. It's not real fun. However. So mm -hmm. let me caveat, asterisk. Mm -hmm. This is the cereal Rice Krispies treats, which I've never had. You've never had it? I've oh. never had the Rice Krispies treats cereal, okay. but I know you eat them without milk anyway. So just yes. pretend this is just Rice Krispies treats. Rice Krispies treats. <laughs> well, okay. Here's the thing. As someone who has eaten Rice Krispies treats cereal and Rice Krispies treats, the delicious snack, um, Rice Krispies treats, the problem with the cereal is it kind of has the rip, rip up your mouth syndrome. Like, mm. it is like a dried out Rice Krispie treat. Yeah. Like, it is like a crunchy version of a Rice Krispie oh, treat. Oh, like gross. The, like well, I feel snack. like maybe the milk would help with that. Like, it milk might. Milk would probably help with that. But what I liked about it is my, you know, my hand eating method, Rice Krispie treats were great for that. Yeah. Versus probably pretty good. Regular for that ass shit. Rice Krispies. So, like, that's why I was always much more of a fan of the Rice Krispie treat. But I think if you pass me a Rice Krispie treat, Man, you're 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 loving my life right <laughs> you're now. You're my friend. <laughs> uh, <laughs> We're I, on good terms. I'm not. I'm not gonna rocket this all the way to S, but like I love I, Rice Krispie treat. Based on my experience with the cereal, cereal, I would put it at least an A. Let's uh, let's say it's like here, with the, like just sure. make it being the cereal. I could see it being above Honey Nut Cheerios. For me personally, um, it would be. It would? Okay, I well would, then then let's do that. I would be more excited about a handful of Rice Krispie Treat cereal than Honey Nut Cheerios. Let's let's say it is then. Uh, uh, Cocoa Krispies, the last of the crispy fam. I'm not a big fan, but like not because I think it's terrible. It's just, again, my eating methodology doesn't really work with the Krispies. I've never had it, and I'm not really a big oh. fan of cocoa only stuff well then hey then let's go ahead and throw it down there yeah. with the puffs at least yeah at least you're you're here about <laughs> let's do Snap, that crackle no thank you yeah i think i agree i think i agree what about you what are you feeling um i just realized raisin brands on here twice and both of them should be in d <laughs> why is raisin Br raisin brand is on here twice grant i was gonna save this one <laughs> I was gonna say raisin bran. I know. For the I, end. I I I actually forgot about it, but seeing it twice made it jump to my mind, and now I remembered. You're a raisin bran boy, ain't you? I okay, chat. If this was mine, bam, mm -hmm. easily yeah, it's going up to S. No question. If you look, right, well here, here, this works out. There's two of them. If this is gonna be the one where we're so diametrically opposed, <laughs> oh okay. You can, well, you here, can be I'll one and I'll be the other. S, and then what, what's yeah, yours? Yeah. I'm going to say mine hangs out like low C. I think it's slightly better than a boring cereal, but like it's not quite as bad. Okay. Because it's at least got those raisins in there. That'll be like a little surprise. But like this is another one where Kid Me, uh, in his effort to give himself diabetes before the age of 10, would put sugar in his raisin brand Good to Lord. make it more palatable. <laughs> yeah. The um, I I love raisin brand. So like. And there, it was something about like just kind of I think where I where I grew up, my grandparents had raisin bran. It's like an it's like kind of an old fogey ish cereal. But if mm. you look at that nutrition facts, that is loaded with sugar. <laughs> it is sugar on top of the raisins. Like it's insane. Uh, but you know, not yeah, enough but, for me. Oh, I don't, uh, that's weird. I don't taste any of it. <laughs> uh, sure, I feel you on that. But I think in like the sense of at least something that's like at least pretending to be good for you. <laughs> and also, uh, it tastes it can, really it good. It introduces raisins to your diet, which admittedly are pretty good. Yeah, I I love uh, raisin bran in the in the sense of like I can trick myself into thinking that it's healthy for a while, and for the most part, it is better for these than it's got most two of old these scoops cereals. of raisins. You can't go unhealthy <laughs> with that. Uh, but uh, I I could if we're not gonna shoot raisin bran all the way up to the top, I could settle for like here or something if we're gonna be maybe more realistic uh but i, I do love raisin bran i think it, i think it's yeah. pretty damn good yeah when i when i called the shot on raisin bran i forgot that you were in fact a raisin brand uh, i'm lad. i'm raisin brand uh yeah, you're, you're a raisin stan yeah um you're another one that i think i'm a weird old man about i love honey smacks 
I okay. think they're fucking amazing. I never I buy them. I haven't had them in so long, so but, it's really hard for me to re like accurately judge. I feel like Kid Me wasn't super wowed with them. Otherwise, I would have had them more often. Yeah. So I feel like it's probably kind of hanging around where it is right now, like the low yeah. end of B, maybe a C. I think I would but, put it above Cookie Crisp, but I'm not going to fight tooth and nail for it. Because I, I haven't uh, gone out of my way I, to I've buy it. I've been kind it. of on a Cookie Crisp crusade trying to get it more out of my life. So I'm down oh, for okay. us to, to put Honey Smacks above sure. it. Just uh, even if it maybe not be what my tongue would say, perhaps what... Uh, you know, my tum tum should. The thing say. about the honey smacks that I like is it's kind of like the brown rice like feeling where it's like if you've had like you know they don't they don't take like the, the shell off the rice. There's like it's like a rice puffed thing, but they keep the shell on it. So it's got this fun little extra texture to like like this yeah chew like around in your squish, mouth and stuff. Yeah. Uh it's like kinda hard on the outside, soft on the inside thing. It's, it's almost like honey a juicy feeling. cereal. It's like eating bugs. <laughs> <laughs> Which is fun because its mascot is a cool looking frog. Cool looking frog, and that's I think that might be a little bit of like the uh the uh I don't know, the mnemonic uh feeling in my head of just like, ooh, I'm e I'm eating little flies or something, but they I'm taste good. Bugs like my buddy uh, <laughs> Smacky the frog. Uh and I think another thing about honey smacks that I like that feels like it endures even to now is that as a kid in the nineties, it felt like something that came out of the seventies. Uh, when I was yes. eating it in the 90s, and so it, it felt, felt like, like an old series. It felt like a weird, fun retro thing of, ooh, I'm eating Honey Smacks. Uh, but now I look back at it, and I'm like, I think of the 90s and shit, and I'm like, yo, you, you stay evergreen, Honey Smacks. You, you always have tasted <laughs> you the same, and I like it. that. Uh, um, I'm going to say, I don't know if there is a difference between Honey Smacks and Golden Crisp. I don't I think I, there is. <laughs> I know I have had both. I think they're basically uh, the same. And I couldn't tell you the difference. All and right. So I'm going to say, yeah, Golden Crisp just goes kind of where Honey Smacks are. Let's chat this out with the mascots. I think I like the Honey Smack uh, Frog more than the Golden Crisp Stoner. I, I also do. I think like I like we 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 discussed this briefly when coming to this conclusion, but uh, I feel like the Frog is cooler. I like him more. But if I was to meet them both in person, me and Stoner Bear would probably chill better. Yeah. But I do think, I think, like, a frog is just a cool mascot. Like, you know, you got your Kermits. You, like, frogs are just cool. Frogs are cool. Every uh, famous frog, frog would agree. Yeah. All those frogs. We all know them. Uh, Michigan J. Great guy. Uh, so, yeah, I would definitely say in the mascot war, Honey Smacks almost wins. Like, Looking at these jokers here on all these boxes, like, I feel like I would get a t-shirt with the Honey Smacks frog on it. I don't know. Well, I get the t-shirt with the Honey Smacks frog on it because I like him. Yeah. I don't, like, the other guys I'd maybe get on a shirt just because, hey, you know who Tony the Tiger is. We've mm -hmm. all seen him before. Other than the Flintstones. Flintstones are just Flintstones pretty. Flintstones are pretty, but, I, uh, but, yeah. the, but, but they're, but you know, they're... They had They're a whole cartoon. Cereal. They had a yeah, whole, they, like, whole thing to characterize themselves. Let's, We're just going let's off not of kid a, ourselves. selling cereal. Flintstones are a bit bigger than cereal. Yeah. They got vitamins, They had more too. going on. Yeah, they had their old vitamins. They had that little show they did once. Yeah. Uh, smaller end. Let's, uh, before we get to the big guns, uh, mm -hmm. well, like, we, we've had a few, but I, I'm seeing a, you know, the usual. There's a couple, there's a couple ringers. Yeah, in here. there's big, big dudes down here. I want to, I want to say there's those one guys or two where last, I'm not I sure think. how the how it's gonna pan out on how we feel on them. Yeah, there's somewhere uh, I can see it going either way. I want to get Count Chocula figured out. Okay, um, now Count Chocula is like one that I feel like I've only had once or twice, so I really don't know how much I can speak to it. But I feel like I remember being a positive experience. I feel like so Count Chocula to me feels like Count Chocula came from the Berenstein universe. Count Chocula came from a parallel dimension where everybody the only buys their- same place where freaking fr Frankenberry and Booberry Yeah, where Frankenberry and Booberry and all that stuff, like it existed, but like literally only at CVS and Walgreens. Like I was like, gonna say, but literally between October's 20 and 31st. <laughs> <laughs> they only, uh, like I can't imagine eating those, like this is can basically be the catch all for all of them as far as I'm concerned. Mm -hmm. uh, it I'm might kind of okay with that. Only specifically be the branding, but I always felt like they were just whatever. Like I didn't, I didn't they go crazy for like the marshmallows. The I didn't go crazy for the, for the yeah. It felt like bootleg off-brand shit. Like this is like your Target brand cereal type thing. I don't know if like they fucking might be. I've never looked. I have no idea. 
Because like uh, I, yeah, because I feel like I didn't see them around very often, and like specifically the Frankenberry and Booberry variants. Oh yeah, I feel like those, those literally only showed up at Halloween. Yeah, uh, and and like Count Chocula, like I feel like the name name almost ten out of ten. Yeah, I 10 love out of 10 saying name. Count exclusively Chocula. exclusively branding carrying that and, one. And the mascot dude, the Count Chocula, I think looks fun and like a cool dude. Yeah, but the cereal itself, I know I consumed and never went out of my way to go have more of it. So I, I, it's like, I remember it being okay, at least in my memory, but not enough for me to go like, I'm going to do that again. Yeah, <laughs> so I agreed. feel like it can't be that good. Where would you put the count then? C for the count? I, I, I think know. I agree. I feel like Cocoa Pebbles are better than Count Chocula. I think a Peanut Butter Punch is better than Count Chocula. Okay. Fry better than Cocoa Puffs. Cocoa Puffs? I'm above. Uh, yeah, let's put it above Cocoa Puffs just to <laughs> keep that freaking bird down. Yeah, I think I think I agree. Mother effort. What do you feel? Speaking of good birds and cereal, though, Fruit Loops. Ooh, uh, okay. I would follow my nose to those things. I still get them every so often to this day. Really? I feel like they are like I feel like they are a, a lower end of a uh, tier cereal. Personally. I think Fruit Loops are pretty dang good. I've always liked Fruit Loops. I have not gotten them. In a long time, I think I would agree. Something about their texture, I think, is lacking. I feel like a, yeah, I feel like a little can go a long way. They're one where I don't want to like really scarf it. Yeah, uh, I think it again. This might be dry cereal mode me, but um, it, it's another one that can kind of really mess up my mouth if I definitely like them too much in in a single sitting. Yeah, and it's um, one that I don't think gets particularly better in milk necessarily. Like it, they're pretty hmm. good. I, I've uh, of the might be tipping my hand here a little bit of the, all of the big commercialized name brand cereals fruit loops were probably my favorite um okay. of like the mascot war yeah, ones the, the outside mascot outside cinnamon toast crunch but they don't really have a mascot person they had like that yeah the little granny or whatever or I, I, I think like i know cheerios more than fruit loops and shit though and applejack yeah i think i agree with this placement though i think yeah i could maybe I like put it above all berries I would take oops all berries before fruit loops. I'll, okay, one. then yeah, I think I think we'll leave it there then. Uh, <laughs> I'm not tipping my hand a little bit. Honey bunches of oats. How do you feel about honey bunches of oats? I'm trying to remember if I've even had it. You've never had it. Like I'm trying to remember what it is. Maybe the only one that might actually be all right for you. <laughs> oh no. The only possibly healthy cereal is the one that I don't think I've ever tasted. Uh -huh. That's that's good to know. Yeah. Um, uh, I like honey and oats can be cool. And if you factor things as a bunch, seems all right. Uh, based on me not even really knowing if I've ever had it, I'd say it's like probably hanging out mid to high C, possibly <laughs> a B. I, um, I would, I still get things like honey bunches of oats. I get like more organic cereal shit nowadays, but uh, okay. all of them are basically honey bunches of oats imitators. Um, variants on the honey They got bunch. like, you know, almonds and nuts and nut clusters and things and shit in there. Uh, I don't know. I feel like I would put, I would put these probably above honey smacks, personally. Okay. Take that honey smacks. Your cool frog can't save you from hell. I think they're pretty damn good, personally. I, I'm willing to concede. I feel like we've agreed on a lot of these cereals, so if this is how you're gonna feel, I'm willing to, I'm willing to go to bat for them and set them in that B tier. What are you looking feeling? at this list? Uh, oh, you're kind of mini wheats. What's oh. your vibe on mini wheats? Because I feel Dude. like I've had days where I really like them. And days where they betray me, and I'm like, these aren't really all that good. I love frosted mini wheats; they're so yeah? good. Yeah, okay. Yeah, they're they're fantastic. I think frosted mini wheats are like another one of those fool you into thinking they're healthy. They're probably healthier than some it of really these options. Does. Um, I really like them. It took me a second to come around to them necessarily, but uh, I think it was the sports branding. I was like. <laughs> I don't want to eat the shit that fucking... <laughs> I'm not eating this King Griffey garbage. Yeah, I don't fucking care about that loser. I don't want to fucking get out there on the fucking... On the diamond. I don't give a shit. Uh, but I do really, really like... You can run bases all weeks. day. I think I would probably take them... Like, there. I think I like them maybe more than Raisin Bran. Wow. Um, like, in terms of my healthy pick. But uh, what do you think? 
Uh, I mean, like, for me, I, I'm willing to meet you in the middle, because I was going to say, for me, they probably hang out in C tier. I think they're better than a boring cereal. Yeah. But not a bad cereal. Okay, well, let's, um, let's, let's, in the divider line of Cookie Crisp, where do they go? Yeah, I was going to say, I, I would say, like, personally, I would take a bowl of Cookie Crisp before many weeks, but... I, I, I am crusading against the, the Cookie Crisp wolf and his okay. skin. Okay, uh, in, in, so, uh, in, in if, lieu if, of the, uh, yeah. the ongoing war uh, on yeah. Cookie Crisp, um, Frosted Cheerios, next dividing line. Yes, higher or lower? I would say they're lower than Frosted Cheerios. I think me. I would put them here, because I think they're better okay. than Honey Bunches of I'm all right with that. I'm okay with them kind of being smack dab in the middle. Okay, yeah, I think they're just like all around they the sugar is great on those the wheats is good it's fun to eat those i love having them in milk i think on their own probably not as good um but really really fun to have like as a cereal milk ass cereal they're pretty all right next one I mean, that i, I think is like milk filling them up pretty good it, it's really good with that uh kind of weird <clears throat> one that i frequently forget exists a uh, pop gotta okay. have my pop do you grant do you gotta have now your see pop? I gotta have my pops. Like, this was one that I okay. wasn't sure where it would fall, so I kind of wanted to wait for you to call it out. Because, uh, for me, it's, like, an easy A tier. I like, think I, I agree. I like it a lot, uh, but I but it's, like, something where it's, like, I don't know how to defend it, because I think it, like... It feels looks, like one feels of these. It feels and tastes like a boring Yeah, it feels one. like one of these, like, but it like is it decidedly seems, but it, not. But it does it all well. Like, yeah. I think it... I think it's, like... Its biggest problem for me is I think it's a cereal that's easy to get stuck in your teeth. Oh yeah, <laughs> like, they have a weird clingy. Like yeah, thing. like it really wants to stick to your mouth. Uh, but that's also not the bit worst thing because then you just get a little afternoon snack when that <laughs> corn pop finally works its way out of your molars. It's disgusting, uh, but I agree. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, uh, so I've, I've I've always been a big fan of the pops. I've always had to have my pops. I would definitely put them at least in an A tier. Where um, okay, let's. Uh, uh, oops, all there. I would, I would, I would personally. Uh, I'm willing to go ahead and draw this line. I'd put them all the way above Honey Nut Cheerios. Holy shit! That's how good Holy I like my shit. pops. I'm um, not demanding that's where they go on this list, but if this was a purely me list, that's around where they'd float. I think I like Honey Nut Cheerios more than pops, but like I do really barely. like Honey Nut Cheerios. So I'm, I'm gonna not say that these are saddened like by it being basically them. tied in my mind. I have definitely bought more honey nut cheerios in the last three to yeah, four years yeah same like i just certain. thinking about that like every time i have pops good time yeah but i think about i'm i'm at the the grocery store buying cereal i get honey nut cheerios it's more not one pop. you're reaching for yeah and so i feel like i gotta go with my my uh my lizard <laughs> you gotta have your cheerios that uh defaults to things when i don't have to think about my preferences i think i like mm -hmm. honey nut cheerios more than pops so yeah pops surprisingly good i don't know what they fucking do i think they have way more sugar then kicks yes, and all this I other thing. Yes, I think it's really just coated in sugar and yeah. full of sugar. Like I think that's really all it is. Uh, but you know, it it's it also to me just looks like big chunks of corn, and I think corn's fun. Yeah. <laughs> um. Lucky Charms. All right. Actually, hold Lu on. Do we? Say Let's it, do which... tricks first, because I think we agree. Okay. okay. Tricks, tricks are for kids. For for the birds. For for garbage. <laughs> for trash. Okay. A little so, better than Cheerios, but man, not by much. Do you have any sort of delineation for tricks shaped like fruits versus tricks in pebble form or like oh, little ball Oh man, form yeah. If they form. were shaped like fruits, if like they the were still days. shaped like fruits, B tier. It's yeah. Fun. <laughs> fun and tastes fine. Yeah. It was, as the just novelty little was fun. fruity orbs, boring as shit, <laughs> and like, and they don't taste good enough to justify it. I agree. Uh, like, they're not that exciting. Um, so I would definitely put them... I think I would put them a little higher. I'd probably... I'd honestly put them over Cocoa Puffs. I agree, man. Fuck Cocoa them. Puff. <laughs> but I don't think they're great. They are definitely a C, a C runner. Those rabbit can yeah. have those tricks, as far as I'm concerned. Like, <laughs> this would be terrible marketing, because it would just be saying things are better than your cereal. But I would love it if the kids were like, go ahead and take the tricks. I've got Cap and Crunch over here. So. <laughs> Yeah. I think I agree. I was big into tricks as a kid. I think the marketing did a lot of legwork. It made me it really, really did want help. them. The, it made that, me like really the, want them. 
Yeah, the the rabbit trying to freaking steal him from children was kind of a like a well, I don't want that cartoon rabbit to steal my cereal. And I think of Although like Kid Me was always like, I just share them. Why I are the kids being the so mean? Rabbit. Exactly. He clearly I... really wants them. Yeah. Wasn't there like one day where he got them? I think a lot of later commercials ended with the kids sharing them. Hang on. Like it like it was usually like kind of Trick's rabbit okay. gets wow, autofilled. <laughs> yeah, when's the well, because everyone made YouTube videos of their dark, gritty uh I feel rabbit. like there was one, like, hallowed day where he got them. Was it, like, Christmas when uh, Barney gave Just Fred his pebbles back? Just won the race? Remember when the rabbit won the race? But does he get like the ring? pixels to show this Just this one. The rabbit wins the trick. The fruity, delicious part of a complete breakfast. <sighs> <laughs> what is this other music playing in the background? So cell phones start going up while they're recording this on their TV. Freedom! Oh, see, it's it's the oh. video is like, see, look, it's a, it was a oh, okay. Whole, yeah, see, see, I think that one on the right there was the yeah the raw commercial. Right, everything. I'll never get to taste tricks with lime green pops. Tour the tricks. I see all he's I know. Tricks. He tricks. sits around being depressed because he's a rabbit. Can't get a job. Can't buy his own. What else tricks. is he gonna do? And then these kids so also can't get a job, but they have parents <laughs> willing to give them tricks. Did they have the results? Was this like a Tour de France like crossover event? Like Probably. Dude, now, I remember like stuff around this era was like big on uh, the Olympics, had the little mascot guy. Like there's a lot of like big sporting event things back then. I, I knew Lance Armstrong's name. So like at yeah, some I knew point, Viking was cool in America. We know the fucking oh, he's a fucking he rabbit. won the race and he like oh so we got to vote for it. I yeah, because I remember there's being some vote thing. But does he get the trick? The kids voted. Well that's good. I'm glad uh, good. He voted yes. Finally. Glad, I think I think we must agree like with children around the world who were like just share the tricks with the damn oh, rabbit. Orange. <laughs> Look how much he's freaking out. I know, he's just having fun. Finally got it. Oh, I love the grape ones. I miss those. The grape ones were great. I remember the wild berry where it was like little wow. blue circles around a pink circle. You can get a free roll of lifesavers and specially marked boxes. Lifesavers, lifesavers and tricks? I forget lifesavers That's exist. Like sugary every day. fruit overload. Well, well. All this, right. This is. I, it. I think that's where tricks goes. So the final, I the final like question this on this list. I feel like this might be bloody as hell. That's why it's here. But I want to know. That's why how, we saved it. How do you feel about Lucky Charms? Lucky Charms. See. I'm kind of glad we saved this one last because it's the one I'm maybe the most conflicted on. Me too. Because I because I feel like there are there are periods where I'm like Lucky Charms, easy S tier, maybe the best cereal ever oh, made. Oh, I knew but, it. <laughs> but then there but then there's other times where I'm just like it's okay, probably a B tier. Mm -hmm. uh, it never it never drops below B tier for me. So if your argument's gonna go for it's bad, then we're definitely gonna have a fight. I would never uh, say Lucky Charms is bad, but I knew that you liked Lucky Charms a lot, and yes. I. And like some, let's say I have the opposite thing where it's like, I think Lucky Charms are fine. Cause I, Halcyon days of yore, bright eyed, mm -hmm. sunny eyes, pre, the, the, the towers are still standing. Yeah. Love Lucky Charms. Lucky back Charms are in, fantastic. Back when the world had something to, like, something to offer. Back when the world made sense. Yeah. <laughs> Lucky Charms were fantastic. Back when you could leave your door unlocked and just not have to worry. I loved the marshmallows. Cause that was like the most sugar i was allowed See, to sneak away with you know like i got in I trouble because i like because i like lucky charms and like while i think the cereal portion of it is fine i don't fine. think it's like amazing it's whatever. like it's it's really not what you're coming for you are really there for those you are there for the marshmallows like yeah uh the heart stars and horseshoes clovers and blue moons pots Hot of gold rainbows, rainbows and, and the red, red balloons. balloons like all that stuff like that's why you're there uh, I got in trouble because we would get like a box of Lucky Charms or whatever, and I literally ate all of the marshmallows. All the marshmallows, out of it. yeah. And like my mom was like looking at the cereal, and she's like, "Like, Why did no you eat here? all the marshmallows out of these?" I'm like, yeah, that's the part of the Lucky Charms I like, Mom. <laughs> like that's when you when Duh. you asked what cereal I wanted, and I wanted Lucky Charms. This was why. That's what I meant. <laughs> she was like, "I didn't buy a box where you just eat part of it." Yeah. Uh, 
And I think like I'm... the the fun, it's like it's a it's a constant thing. Like I feel like this is kids in in the year 2080 are going to be having the <laughs> same discussion that we have now of just eating the marshmallows or like oh no yeah. we're all here for the marshmallows we're not we're, here for the fucking shit gotta... and then they made just for I think a brief period lol it's just the marshmallows really uh, yeah for like just oh a brief gosh. window they they put that out there I feel like because like I love those things but they dry your mouth out like Which crazy is, and... that's how I feel now now that I'm an adult who can just go buy a bag of marshmallows, buy yourself a thing of, yeah they're just freeze dried marshmallows that aren't that yeah, good it's just <laughs> yeah they're just worse marshmallows so it's like. The thing I'm there for is a subpar but thing so that I can just get. Fun. That is, a, but they're, that is, it's they're true. delightfully packaged. They are hilarious. Little, they're so silly. Hats. They got the fun commercials. We have it. It's burned into our brains. I'm gonna be sitting mm -hmm. there with dementia on my deathbed, going, "Oh yeah, heart stars and horseshoes." <laughs> he and said I, something about stars and horseshoes. <laughs> I think he's, I think he's crossing over. Clover he's seeing blue the blue moons. Moon. <laughs> I'm going over to the pot, find the pots of gold over the rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> On Just my ride red that balloon. red balloon, Dad. <laughs> uh, Steal yeah. You on the other side, Grandpa. Um, it's like I feel like the fun witticism of Lucky Charms does a lot of legwork for what is basically a dookie cereal with poo poo marshmallows. <laughs> but we have this memory, but the combination. Like of uh, that makes it so uh, valuable. But I don't know. You say S tier. I would be. I would struggle to put it on S tier. I think it's a I little. Mean, like, I mean, I, I, yeah, like I, I, I go back and forth on it. Like I, I feel like I will. You like I, I guess this is maybe the most damning thing. I it is S tier in my mind, and then I normally get it. And by the time I am like rounding out that box, I'm like, you know what? Lucky Charms are still good. Maybe not quite the end all I remember it being. Yeah. Uh, so it's like it probably more realistically hovers. I would say high B personally. I would even okay. put it over Frosted Flakes. Ooh, that's um, a that's a good question. You said, did you say you'd maybe even put it over I, Frosted I, Flakes? I, I think I would. You would, like for it, a fact. Yes. Yeah, mm. like it's it's one of, it's one of those. It would be a hard decision, but I think that's the decision I would make. If it was like Grant, Tony, and the Leprechaun are both on life support, <laughs> and we've only got enough battery to uh, to keep one of them alive, who are you pulling the plug on? I think I'd. With a tear in my eye, unplug Tony. I, I think I would, I think I would send that leprechaun to to the to the <laughs> rainbow man. I think I'd be like, nah, you. you well, he's Irish. He's he's, he's probably Irish. Catholic. He's kissed he's, the stone. He's, <laughs> he's 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 got something waiting. Sending for him. him to them. Pearly Tony, gates. Oh, if Tony dies, Tony doesn't go to heaven. There's <laughs> this is all Tony. Well, I got I got to keep him alive so I can witness to him. Says little Christian Kieran. <laughs> I, I need to get Tony to heaven. I need him to see that God is great. No, I'm saying Tony can't get in because Tony's an animal. Animals don't do it. <laughs> he doesn't have a soul. Tony He's a tiger. Have a soul. He's a fucking tiger. <laughs> lucky, lucky at least. I don't know. I'm assuming it's like go to heaven. All tigers go to heaven. I Hashtag think I would put Lucky Charms under Frosted Flake, but uh, I could see okay. a world where. Now, did you ever have the unholy combination? No. I know what you're going to say. Lucky Charms never, and Frosted Flakes. Never does that. That definitely happened. Did you? Like, that was a, that was a box. That was real. Wait. They did it, like, officially? I'm pretty sure. I thought they did. Maybe not literally Lucky Charms, but there was definitely Frosted Flakes with just marshmallows in it. Like, I could have sworn. No, I'm pretty sure there is. There, There is definitely a Lucky Charms with... It might not be branded Frosted Flakes, but it is sugar covered Hang on. corn Lucky, flakes. Lucky Charms, Frosted, Frosted flakes. flakes. Like I had that. I remember mentioning it to you and saying I ate the box like over the course of a week and thought I gave myself a disease. Frosted like, Flakes diabetes. with marshmallows. No, that the the Lucky Charm. The oh, Lucky Charms down. Frosted Flakes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I got a box of those. Holy and, shit! Uh, liked it too much. <laughs> like that <laughs> is honestly. N S tier cereal for me, like, really easy, because it was like, man, hold on, the, so frost, the frosted flakes were like, they weren't oh, like. Oh, so is this just frosted flakes with Lucky Charms marshmallows? Yes. Oh, <laughs> that's literally that all it is. That sounds amazing. Yeah, it is. Oh. It's great and it's oh, real. It's a thing you can buy in stores right now. Okay, well then, hang on. What if we do this? <laughs> <laughs> 
And we then, put them on top of each other. Yeah, we make them but, kiss. Okay, well, they're, they're not going to know that on the image, though. Yeah, so yeah, we'll yeah, get these yeah. down here. But yeah, uh, for everybody watching, you know that Frosted Flakes plus Lucky Charms easily gets up there. Is an S tier. Yeah. All right. Uh, like, it was delicious, but uh, made my tummy hurt because I ate it all too fast. Let's and it was uh, basically let's, pure sugar. Let's revisit um, everything here. Let's just run okay, down the line. Just a quick rundown. Honeycomb is mm -hmm. the meaning of the two houses. We both love yes, this. Yeah. I think I would put some above the, it, but I would. We met on the hill and shook hands and We're, said, yes. Yeah, the honey honeycomb oh. absolutely S tier. Cinnamon look, Toast hey, Crunch, Cinnamon Toast S Crunch is also great S tier, and if the, the official list showed it above Honeycomb, I would like still be willing to stand by it, because it's uh, both of them, I feel like neck and neck, I like them both. I think I've had more Honeycomb in the past than I have Cinnamon Toast Crunch. So. I, feel, I feel like it's one of those things where, being honest, eating it, I think just the act of consuming the taste cinnamon toast crunch might win out but honeycomb yeah. like cinnamon toast crunch always leaves me with a bunch of debris because <laughs> like, like true you are getting you are getting that cinnamon sugar if you're eating it like me all over your hands oh yeah uh and if you're putting it in a bowl of milk i feel like it becomes like a gray concrete sludge yeah, by the it's time great. it's done <laughs> so like either end there is a heavy cleanup duty afterwards yeah um whereas honeycomb Good, however, whenever, mm, wherever, yes, I can put a baggie of that solid. in a, in a in like a pocket and eat it at church or whatever and yep. be fine. Uh, and it's gonna be a okay. Uh, that's S tier delineation for S tier. Reese's Puffs <laughs> barely misses on S tier, and I I think I would stand by that. Yes, quality not good enough. Could be a little yeah. Better. There's there's just something about it where it just feels like it drops off compared to those two. Rice Krispie treat, honey nut. Rice Cheerios. Krispie treats is great. Honey nut Cheerios, awesome. Pops, pretty damn good. Raisin Bran. That's, that's my raisin bran up there. Kieran's raisin <laughs> bran. I'm sitting there scowling a little bit, but I'm also not gonna hate. Uh Apple Jacks. You know what? Here, I'll do I'll do you a solid. I'll I'll do I'll do hey, one of these. I'll put Apple Jacks here. I'll put Oops All Berries here. I'll do that. There, I'll, <laughs> I'll do this for you. Uh, it's your raisin bran. You nah, can put nah, it nah, nah, you nah. want. I'll 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 do this for you. Okay, you know what? Hang on. I'll I'll do that. Um, so I feel like we're we're you're setting up bad karma for me where I'm gonna have to put my raisin bran on the top of C. Nah, That's not nah, true. Nah, nah, nah. Don't worry about it. Um, oops, all berries, raisin bran, fruit loops. I think I agree. That's a solid A tier. Yeah, yeah. That's like back end of A tier. I would eat those. Man, I'm looking at these and I'm like, I don't. I feel like Lucky Charms and Frosted Flakes. Lucky could Charms probably, could probably play. I think can, both I of think these could play probably an be A. a tier. I kind of agree, actually. I think I think a divisor for Captain Crunch at B is pretty good. Yeah, like in my head, Captain Crunch and Frosted Flakes kind of float around the same area. But I think area. this is where we. This is why we draw the the tiered line. But yeah, yeah. Um, but I, I think I think I'm okay here with this being the real divider. Because yeah, Frosted Flakes and Lucky Charms do feel kind of both too good to be B. Yeah, I think I'd agree. They're they're especially compared they're to their like their compared uh, to the B. Yeah, compared sphere. to the B inhabitants. Yeah. I would I would be like, oh, yeah. hang on, let's, like, let's get like, you out of this classroom. If I was to independently pull me away from this video. Like, all right, Grant. There's a tier list with cereal, and uh, let me let me just look. Uh, Cookie Crisp, Honey Smack, and Frosted Flakes all live in the same tier. I'd be like, are you crazy? Frosted Flakes is heads and shoulders above those other. Exactly. Yeah, I think I'd agree. Uh, so in B tier, Champion Cap Captain Crunch leading the B tier. Mm -hmm. Fruity Pebbles right afterward, easily. Frosted Cheerios, Frosted Mini Wheats. Honey Bunches of Oats, Honey Smacks, Golden Crisp, basically the same thing. And then yeah. uh, tailing it out, Cookie Crisp. Cookie Crisp. Yeah, this looks solid to me. I think all of those, like, if the world was vacated of everything above, uh, I would still be, <laughs> I would, I would be happy with like a, with a, any of these. I'd find something no, that yeah, I can pick. Exactly. If 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 I am at a Airbnb and they're like, we've stocked it with breakfast cereal for you. Only uh, your B tier. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. But if it was strictly B tier cereals, I'd still be like, we're in for a good weekend with some good breakfast. Yeah, totally. See, people think B is bad. B is, no. B is good. You, you B pass. Is Passing grade. <laughs> B is you will be okay if, yeah. you, if you have this. You exactly. will be just fine. And C is, uh, you know, could be better, but uh, it <laughs> yeah. could be better. <laughs> but, uh, we're, you know, we're, we're still having a fun time. Uh, Cocoa Pebbles, Peanut Butter Crunch, Count Chocolate, Tricks, Cocoa Puffs, Cocoa Krispies, and Raisin Bran. All, all well, fine. I, I would be fine if you were like, Hey, this is all glancing the material I this, have. Glancing at this list uh, for C tier, if we're going to order it within the tier, I feel like personally I would move both 
Peanut Butter Crunch and Trix above Cocoa Pebbles. That's me personally. If you sure, disagree, I could I, I, I could agree. Take that. But I feel like those two kind of stand above the rest of. I'd agree. I like. I dislike Cocoa Pebbles way. Like my distaste for fruity to Cocoa Pebbles is a is a a vast canyon. So the more <laughs> we highlight that, the better. The more we can separate the two, um, the better you'll feel. Uh, peanut butter crunch or trick? Who's I lead? think. I think. This kid me would would crucify me for this, but I'm gonna say I think tricks are better than peanut butter crunch. I think I would agree. And then tailing. The, the the D we are depressed. The rear end. We are destitute. Yeah. We this, have, this, this is, is a this is an any port in a, a, in a storm situation where it's like I guess I won't starve. The her, the storm is coming. Uh, the, everybody did storm prep shopping because you're in a town full of doomers. They yeah, got and all I was the cereal. Last. We're last here, and literally the only cereal left is this. We are sad. I might not even buy it. I might go like, well, <laughs> what if there's guess granola? <laughs> Maybe uh, I'll become a cannibal. <laughs> Cheerios, rice checks, kicks, rice krispies, special K, and everybody's least favorite, cornflakes. <laughs> bottom of the bunch, cornflakes. Last uh, of all. And uh Me who shall be forgotten. Just to take a page from um uh the content cowboy, let's move this around. Cornflakes yeah, is the best. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, if you, gonna, if you if you snuck right in here at the end. If you're just looking at the end to see you what can't the cheat on this tier list. what the best thing is, let's just uh, uh go yeah. ahead and put look put lucky charms like in D, like really Yeah, throw like re off. hang on, let's put like they'll be, that. Yeah. They'll be um, like, "Oh, these these, these fucking idiots. hipsters." Yeah, and let's do let's get uh all right. This will definitely be the thumbnail picture. Yeah, this is this, the, <laughs> this, this is what what the what with, they're walking with All right. Let's bullshit it for a sec. Okay, so Ice. Honey Smacks, underrated fucking best cereal I've oh, ever absolutely. fucking had. Like, I don't understand why Honey Smacks aren't on like every single storefront everywhere. Because they're like easily. the premier cereal. Yeah, and Corn Flakes is seriously like, if you have not had Corn you, Flakes, you're fucking, you haven't tried it yet. Maybe it's just the a thing when you get older. <laughs> yeah, the issue just... is like Corn Flakes are kind of like, I don't want to call it an acquired taste, but yeah. it's more like a taste for the refined gentleman. Like you have to <laughs> you have cereal. to have a bit more culture to enjoy cornflakes. And that's why I think generally it's considered boring. Yeah. Because it's like it's boring like, you know, a fine piece of art is boring to someone. Yeah. Like, and same with know, honey bunches of oats. It's a like, personal failing if you think it's boring. If you can't handle like a healthier cereal or something that like actually then does what are you eating you? breakfast? Like what are you for? even fucking eating breakfast? The most important for, really? meal of the day. <laughs> Uh, Frosted Cheerios, though, like if you're gonna have like a just a couple little bit here, oh my god, Frosted Cheerios are so. If we've got to good. inject some flavor, Frosted yeah, Cheerios, Frosted Cheerios I are guess, really is the fucking good. Uh, rice checks, pup, uh, puppy chow. All I gotta say, Pu Can't puff have me it up, rice Daddy, check. is all I gotta say with yeah. the rice checks. It's puffy, delicious, light, and flavorful. Yeah, Reese's Puffs could probably like the quality of Reese's Puffs a little low, but man, still solid, still banger. Uh, the uh, the promise of candy for breakfast is almost realized. Yeah, fruity pebbles so fucking good. If you get it in that just sweet spot of where it's like super duper good with the milk, just oh right. my god, so it's just incredible. Tony the Tiger, solid. Frosted Flakes, amazing. Pops, gotta have my pops. Uh, you always gotta have those pops. Raisin Bran, super duper good. Those fucking raisins are sugared to hell. <laughs> Apple Jacks and Raisin Bran again. <laughs> well, listen, my I guess that's because because Grant doesn't like. Okay, I, I didn't like. I don't like Grant's Raisin Bran as much of Apple as much as Apple Jacks. Yeah. You think they're just a little bit better than Apple? Yeah. Jacks, this list. This list had. While two it might Bran, seem so like look. a splitting of hairs here, I feel like was important to discern. Yeah. Fruit Loops, though, solid. Peanut Butter Crunch, solid. All good eight tiers. Cocoa Pebbles, e also good. Another Pebular uh, delight. Captain Crunch, still good, but Rather cuts pebulous. through your mouth. Uh, Frosted Mini Wheats. Eating up them, them gums. Pretty good. Uh, Golden Crisp, Cookie Crisp. Keep the, keep the Crispies now, together. Now, I know what everyone's thinking. Honey Crisp, S tier. Golden Crisp, B tier. They're basically the same cereal, but have you looked at those mascots? Yeah. S tier mascot, frog. B tier mascot, bear. Easily, yeah. Uh... Cocoa Puffs, pretty damn good. It's just like one half of Reese's Puffs. Pretty fucking solid. I might not be going cuckoo for it, but I'm getting a little antsy about it. Yeah, Cocoa Krispies, uh, I think. Uh, just the, the chocolate does something a little more than just the normal Rice Krispies. They needed some Snap, flavor. Crackle there. delish. Yeah, so fucking good. Uh, Tricks, also solid. I missed the, if they had the fruit shapes, would maybe Tricks be a little higher. Tricks for vitamin higher. C. That's why it's on the C tier. It's lots good of one. fruit. Good one. Count Chocula, hanging out in C tier. Probably where he belongs. 
Honey Nut Cheerios. I think they're not Cheerios as good, good as Frosted Cheerios, but they're they're You'd solid. You'd be way better they're served thicker. with a Frosted Cheerio. Yeah, for if you sure. had to pick, definitely get a Frosted Cheerio. Uh, and this one is supposed to be Oops All Berries. Yeah. Um, but you know, asterisk on that one. Oops, yeah. all berries. More like oops, all meh. Yeah. Put it back in C tier where it belongs. For sure. Uh, normal Cheerios, pretty damn good. Uh, can't go wrong with normal Cheerios. Uh, it's good for big you. Big old average you. honeycomb. It's huge, but it's only middling. Yeah, like they're they're too big for how little flavor they Their have. Their big honestly. box takes up so much space. Yeah. Uh, and then D tier, we're miserable here in D tier. Bad Kicks. time zone God, here in D tier. Miserable Rice Krispie treats. Ugh, they're Kicks so fucking that dry shit out of here. Rice Krispie treating who? Cin cinnamon toast crunch. Cinnamon toast cringe. There, it's yeah, cinnamon toast cringe. <laughs> <laughs> Cringeman <laughs> toast crunch. <laughs> I'm gonna need a Lucky Charm if I am forced to eat these Lucky Charms because I have clearly run out of luck. Yeah, horrible Rice marshmallows. Rice Krispies just suck ass. There's not even a good bit for it. No, Special K, fucking dog shit. Uh, and that's the cereal tier list. Uh, if you disagree, leave a comment. Tell us why you disagree or what and you agree fight on. fight me in person. Fight me if in you person. you disagree, uh, you're bring gonna have to it fight to my Grant and I'll Sawyer you. and me uh, if you try to, try to square up with any of us. Leave a comment. Uh, let us know. Cereal tier list, good times. Hope, hope you had a good time. Enjoy your cereal. You're supposed to say zone. Oh. Zone.